Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a while since we last saw one another. But let's peer into the great beyond. I uh, already went through this once, and my microphone didn't work. It didn't work. It was off for uh, no reason. Just the setting uh, changed. It just changed for no reason. But let's not uh, let's not uh, get into that. Let's just go ahead and take this right here and just uh, motherfucking uh, destroy the skeleton parented to it. There we go. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you how to get your textures into the Fable Editor. I'm going to show you how to rig any kind of helmet, model, mask onto the player. And this is only going to be for hats, helmets, masks, headpieces. Uh, not This won't apply for hair unless you want the hair to be completely stiff. So this is the model that we'll be putting in today. And let's go ahead and put our hero in there so you can see that he is approximate to scale to the hero. Because that is something you should always do. And I already told you in the uh, last tutorial how to export the hero. So this should do it for you. This should be good. As you can see, it uh, fits on him just fine. That little extra room so he can wear armor. And it won't clip with this. All that's important is that his face is not going through the grate. Which it might seem like if you weren't a Blender user and you're not familiar with the stuff, you might be saying, but hombre, those big gosh dang friggin' friggin' triangles are point they're they're poking all through that lobster trap. And what I have to say to you there is those are the bones, those those are the face bones. Those manipulate the face, those make his gums flap. So let's go ahead and let's get rid of his body. And let's import, you know, uh, the headpiece that we'd be replacing. Now, you don't need to export every single mask or hat that you plan to uh, replace. What I do is I hold on to the FBX for the Jack of Blades mask that you get on the evil ending. And I import that and I use that as my reference since it's nothing but a mask rigged to the head bone. And I take it and I delete that. And you know, it doesn't matter that I'm using this for the skeleton. You can still use this. You could replace a pair of gloves with this. So it really doesn't matter. But uh, you, you go ahead and you uh, left click on the, on the helmet. And then you hold shift and you left click on the skeleton. And then control P. And then with empty groups. And the reason you want to do with empty groups and not automatic weights why some people, like some people might tell you, is because since this is just a mask or a headpiece, and it's only going to move with the head bone for Fable, we only need weight on the head. And sometimes there are vertices that are very hard to reach on sophisticated models such as this one. So, <laughs> I'm going I'm to take this right here, and I'm going to go into weight paint mode. And, uh, you can see there's all this weight. There's all this weight on the model. But you're going to have something that looks like this. You're going to have something that looks like this. And if you paired it with empty uh, empty groups. And if you do and when you do, you're going to want to come back in here. And you're going to want to set that to 1. And then you're going to want to hold down Alt, Left Alt on your keyboard. If you have two Alts, the Left Alt. And Left Mouse. And you're going to drag, drag, and drag until you can't drag no more, and that's all just red. As red as possible. The lobster trap has become a lo lobster effigy. The crab king. And once you're certain you've really hit all those vertices, which uh, I probably did a while ago, you can go ahead and go back to object mode. Let's see, so what's this? all this useless crap in here? Okay, that's our helmet. What are you? You're garbage. Okay, so as you can see, if you want to test if the weights work, as you saw, I moved with it, so the weights do work. But if you want to test to make sure that it would only move with the head bone. And I don't know if you noticed that, but um, when I was in weight paint mode, to help tell that you were painting the uh, head bone, is in this down here this little icon right there see bip zero one head and i'm i'm honestly saying such basic stuff to actual like blender users or people who have modded other games before or use blender this is seriously for people 
who are just trying to get some some of their uh, own models or models from other games into Fable using my other tutorial that haven't done it before because it's really easy. It's really easy and you, you can start anywhere. So once you got everything rigged up like that and you want to test the weights, you click on the skeleton, you hit pose mode. We're going to select the head. As you can see, it moves with the head bone and just the head bone. And again, the non-blender uses, if you mess this up by accident, you're like, uh-oh, do I need to start over? No. Just go to pose, transform, uh, sorry, clear, transform, all. And you're good. So then what you want to do is you want to select your whole shabam right there. All of your uh, mesh and, and skeleton. The whole shaboodle. I'm taking all of this. Let me just make sure I grab all of what I want. There we go. And now we export that, and you need to export it to the same folder that the textures you... Oh, I didn't explain to you the textures. So, what's this material here, Zayn or Armor D? So I'm going to go ahead and clear that. DDS textures work, TGA textures work, PNGs work. But for best desired results, you want to use TGA textures that are... Uh, what compression again? DXT5. Yeah, it's DXT5 compression. Um, so let's say, you know, like we were going to clear that. So you see, I cleared I cleared the material. I just wiped the material, new material, base color, image texture, open. And now we're going to select that texture, which was Xehanort Armor D. There we go. So, and that's how that works. And it has to be principled BSDF. And you can do that for the normal map or your emissive. If you're a more advanced Blender user, you can go ahead and you can try. But you're going to have to reset up a bunch of stuff in the Unreal Editor regardless, including normals. So, go ahead and export this. Zenny Nanny Helmet Test. And I've already done this video once. I already know it's going to work. But I'm going to import it. And I'm going to explain what I explained last time. If you import your model and your model is transparent, one of two things is wrong. If you're using a Zelana model, or uh, a DAE model, or any other kind of strange format, or format that is not FBX, uh, and you import it, it might be tra transparent, even if you export it as FBX. And, that's, and if that happens, there's two things you try. First thing is you... First, you export the model with the texture supplied to it, everything that you want, as an FBX once, and you re-import that to Blender and you work with that version of the model. The second thing you try is you go into the model in Blender, and you click on the mesh, you hit tab, and you go to uh, mesh, normals, flip. Okay, so okay. And as you, you, you can tell that everything's right if it says the skeletal mesh, that you rigged everything right, which of course, yes, okay. There we go. And as you can see, that is uh, that works. I'm gonna put a shirt on him so you can see that the animations work. And and the shirt you're gonna the shirt's not really gonna move. Well, you know what? Screw it. I'll just show you it like this. See that? We got it done. That's how you do it right. And then you just do everything else to replace whatever you want. Like I mentioned in the uh, in the previous tutorial. Just as a reminder, down here in Wii Game Main, this is where all the heroes' armor and particles are. And there's copies of particles hidden somewhere else that you'd uh, also have to change. Now, if if something happens, like let's say, uh, and remember to always fully load the package. But uh, let's say, like if you import your model, and no matter what you try, God forbid, the uh, textures aren't coming in. The textures aren't carrying over. What you want, what you, what you can do then, is instead of, you know, just changing the name and replacing it that way, the way I typically would, like I showed you in the previous tutorial, re-import that skeletal mesh over the mesh that you're replacing, and then import the textures over their textures and edit the properties of the materials from inside the material editor. <laughs> 
And that is how you would smuggle textures. Sometimes it comes with undesired uh, results. That's why you should use uh, models, let's say that, uh, you could use a model that doesn't have a very defined normal map, so you don't get very much uh, undesired results from the bump, like a uh, fence post or something that's used like once somewhere in the game. And then you can use that to replace whatever you are by creating a copy of it and overwriting it instead of having to rely on whatever you're replacing's normal map. I know that sounds like a bunch of charble, but the more you do this, the more that'll make sense. Without further ado, have a great day. That'll be the end of this one. Thanks for tuning in, though. Until next time. Oh, yeah. Feel the boogie real quick on the way out with some combustible Addison friends.